Today we will look into electronic viewfinders and optical viewfinders. Hi, I'm Tim. And I'm Tuki and welcome to Learn TV. Today we are going to talk about the difference between electronic viewfinders versus optical viewfinders. So Tim. That's right. So optical viewfinders have been around for a long time. Uh, and in fact, just about every digital SLR that you buy will have an optical viewfinder on it. Yep. And the principle is pretty simple. So digital SLR uh, stands for digital single lens reflex. And that reflex is kind of the key to um, to the way the, the viewfinder works on these cameras. So here's your single lens, yep. obviously detached. The reflex part is this mirror that's in here. It's a bit hard to see from the shot, but essentially this gets out of the way every time you go to take a photo and exposes the sensor in behind there to, to the, to the yep. shot. Yep. But when you're not actually taking a photo, this mirror allows the light to pass through here, bounce right. up, yep. and bounce out into the this way, finder. out to the viewfinder. Cool. So that means that when you're looking through this viewfinder, you're actually looking through the lens. Um, and that's a, you know, it's a, Pretty clever system, been around for a long time. Having said that though, Sony is increasingly moving to electronic viewfinders. Now electronic viewfinders, if I take the lens off this one, you'll see have to work in a different way because there's no mirror in this camera. That's just a sensor. Yep. There, okay, so when the light comes through this lens, it hits the sensor and it passes through, whoops, I'll flip that around for you. Yep. It passes through and if you have the viewfinder active, yeah, um, you can see it's electronic. Out there. So it's like a little screen. Up it's, there. Yeah, yep. it's basically a little. Um, it uses an OLED or organic uh, light emitting <laughs> light emitting diode technology yep. um, to basically create a high quality little computer screen in the back there, which is very much the same as what you see on the display. Cool. Now there's quite a lot of advantages to that, but I think um, it's best for us to actually see what the Show experience them. is actually yep. like first. Thanks, Tim. So what we're going to do now is we're going to have a look uh, first at the electronic viewfinder. So uh, what I have here is the NX6. So if I get you you know, quite close to this camera shot, uh, you'll be able to see what you, you see through an electronic viewfinder. There we go. Hi, Tim. Uh, so the, the first thing that you'll notice here is you can see, you know, all your menus at the top, uh, your shutter speed at the bottom. But the other nice thing is, you know, if I go through the display settings, you can see, you know, different things appearing on the screen, which is quite unique to electronic viewfinders. You, you, you don't get that on optical viewfinders. But yep. also uh, the menu. So if I push the menu button, you can see all the menus from the camera directly through the, the electronic viewfinder. Okay. So the nice thing with electronic viewfinders is you get all your menus, you know, straight away. But also it gives you a really wide uh, viewing angle. So this, the screen looks nice and big when you put your eye close to that electronic viewfinder. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we'll show you what it looks like through an optical viewfinder. So if we look here um, with the optical viewfinder. Uh, so first thing you will notice, it is quite hard to get the exact same shot between between the two. Yeah, that looks a lot smaller, but yeah, I, it, I guess it's not that much smaller. Yeah, it, it is smaller, but the, the main thing is at, at the bottom, uh, you will notice that you can see the aperture and shutter speed and all that stuff, but mm -hmm. there's no other menus that you can get and display. And as I was saying before, uh, you know, the, the field of view is not as big as an electronic viewfinder. So you guys should really go, you know, try it out of the store when you see a digital SLR, versus uh, an electronic viewfinder, have a look at the field of view. Yeah, that kind of begs the question, I guess, of why people would continue to use an optical viewfinder. And the main reason why people stick to it is that because you are looking through the lens, there's a real connection to the subject that a lot of people who, who are used to using these cameras uh, don't feel like they get from an electronic viewfinder. And I, electronic viewfinders continue to improve. Yeah, um, absolutely. And, you know, most people, once they've started using them, it's very hard to actually go back to an optical to viewfinder. Yeah. But there is this perception that, you know, this is a more sort of realistic view of, of what you're seeing. Yep. The reality is with digital, however, is that it's this is not a more realistic view of what you're seeing because there's so many other settings that you can put on, on digital. And this is the key reason why Sony has chosen to go very, you know, full on into electronic across right. our entire range yep. because you get to see so many other you know additional settings, settings. so yep. I, I mean maybe you can actually show yeah, us some of those there's a couple more things i want to show you so i'll just grab my couple of props here that i'll put you know it's inside nice. the shot into the boxing <laughs> yeah into boxing absolutely <laughs> So uh, what I'll do is I'm just going to connect this to a switch so you can you know you can see uh, uh, exactly the all the menus close up, um, but everything that you're going to see on screen is pretty much what I can see inside right. the the electronic viewfinder. So as I was saying before, you know the main thing is like all the menus at the top, bottom, you know, uh, if 
I showed, I kind of showed you the menu before, but you know, if you go through some of the shortcuts, you know, you have everything here from you know dynamic range to white balance, um, all the way to like for example picture effect, which is you know which is quite straightforward. But the the cool thing is everything is live, so you know even if you were shooting in in black and white, for example, here that shot here. Uh, in the electronic viewfinder, I can see that shot in black and white. Right. With an optical viewfinder, obviously you take the photo, you don't know what it looks like in black and white, then you look at the LCD at the back for the preview to see what the shot actually looks so like. So that's going to be pretty important for things like white balance, you know, getting your color right. And uh, If you're a creative person, this is a boon, right? Yeah, it is, it is a massive thing. So the, the other cool thing uh, between the um, with the uh, electronic viewfinder is the playback. So you yeah. have a playback but button as I was showing before, but sure. the cool thing is when you take a photo, I can play it back inside the electronic viewfinder. I can you know change my settings, I can delete the photo, I can you know go back into it and, and I don't have to move back exactly. Position, right. So I don't have to change position, have a look, take a photo, change my settings. I can take a photo, change my settings, play back, delete all from the, the same basically perspective. Which there's, is actually, nice. there's one other thing that I really like as well because I like to use some of these older lenses. Yep, and these are um, the older lenses are typically manual focus, um, particularly on the on the NEX. And so these feet, these cameras have got a feature called um, manual focus peaking. And what it does is it it highlights the areas of the shot that are in focus. So I might give you a quickly show. Yeah, yeah. Um, so Turkey. just reconnected that there. Um, so what we're going to do now is just going to show you um, with this the shot that we had before. Let's have a look at this. There we go. Okay, so what we have here is, you know, uh, another lens, so this is not an NEX lens, but as I, I change the, the actual um, focus point on the actual lens, you can see that, you know, those red lines everywhere. So, right, right. So that means that it, it shows me quickly, uh, either from the back LCD or the electronic viewfinder, what is in focus. And then I can, you know, take the shot yeah. directly from there. Cool. So, uh, I mean, this is a feature that I particularly like because I use these things for shooting a lot of videos. Mm. And I actually find that the the manual focus peaking in many time, in many cases, is even faster than autofocus because yeah. you can see instantly where the focus point is, uh, and and shift to it. So, um, yeah, it's a it, this is the sort of thing that is enabled by having an electronic viewfinder that you just can't get on an optical viewfinder. So that's the reason why Sony is very much all in on these electronic viewfinders. So uh, yeah, hope you learned something. Thanks for watching. See ya.